Hello, this is the AWS Account Administration and Networking for Higher Education presentation. In this section, we're going to talk about account basics. My name is Mike Kuntz, and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. AWS Account Basics. An AWS account is simply an Amazon.com account enabled to use AWS products. The email and passwords known as the AWS account's root credentials. These root credentials are just as dangerous as root account applies. Each AWS account has a 12-digit account number used to uniquely identify it. AWS Organizations Basics. The first AWS account is the top level of an AWS organization. An AWS account can be a member of only one AWS organization. An AWS organization is a consolidated set of all the AWS accounts that you can centrally control. Organizations and account basics. The first AWS account that you create, known as the master account, should only be used for a handful of things. Primarily, paying your AWS bill, connecting AWS Direct Connect, creating additional new AWS accounts, and applying AWS organization service control policies. You will want to go through and create a second account to launch your services and we'll cover the reasoning behind these recommendations in more detail later in these talks. Creating your first AWS account. You want to go through and create a distribution list or alias in your organization to set the root account to, similar to AWS hyphen department name or department name. You don't want to use the personal email address you use in your organization. This email account can reset the password but cannot be used to disable multi-factor authentication. Do this first after you create your account. Go into alternate contacts. Add contacts for billing, operations, and security. You want to ensure that these are kept up to date, perhaps as part of a regular account review process. Next thing you want to do, set up challenge questions. Generate secure and unique answers to three security questions. This is located in the Billing and Cost Management Console. This helps us establish ownership in the event you need to contact us about a login issue. Do this first. Strongly recommend this option. Set up multi-factor authentication on your root account using a hardware MFA. You can purchase a hardware token from Amazon.com for each account that you create. Do this first. Alternative option is to use a virtual MFA instead of a physical hardware MFA. You can use a virtual MFA device such as Authy, Google Authenticator, or any virtual device that uses the TOTP standard. Root Credential Recap. When you go to log into your AWS account, you will use your root password and your MFA token to get root access. If for some reason you would lose your MFA token, you can contact AWS customer support to have that reset. The email recipients are used to reset the root's password. So you would actually need both of these, AWS support and email recipients, to reset both the root password and the MFA token. Some safety recommendations around the root credentials. Root can disable logging, change permissions, and destroy data. Don't use the root account routinely. There are only a handful of tasks that are required to use the root account, and these are listed on the AWS documentation pages. Never generate root API keys. Delete any root API keys in legacy accounts that may exist. 